Hey, what's up everybody? We're back today. We're out in Skyhold tracking down the Griffin Mail schematic. Now, this is a schematic that was added with the Trespasser DLC, and it now shows up in the original part of the game, which is the part between Haven and Killing Corypheus. Now, depending on what your default world state is, i.e. the history of Dragon Age that you have either configured or accepted by default once you uh, start a new playthrough, you may or may not have a world state that allows you to get this schematic. And you're probably saying, you know, what the fuck, right? Well, here's the deal. The schematic is given to you as a reward for completing a war table operation called Contact the Hero of Ferelden. Based on decisions that you may have made when setting up either DragonAgeKeep.com or otherwise, the Hero Ferelden may be dead. Um, the Hero Ferelden had the option to uh, kill the Archdemon at the end of Origins, and if he did, or she did, then the Hero's dead and you can't do anything about it, which means you're not going to have a world state that's going to allow you access to this War Table operation. So that's the situation I was in because, uh, you know, that's just how I decided to play Origins. So that's what carried through into this game for me. What my suggestion would be to you is if you don't know, if you know for sure, or you're just confused and you're like, hey, MC, just fucking shut up and tell me how to set this up. That's what I'm going to do. I will put in a caveat here. This is not the only way to configure this so that you can get this war table operation. This may not be the best way to configure this to get your war table operation, nor may it be the easiest. However, this is the way I set it up to make it work for me, so that's what I'm going to tell you how to do. Go to DragonAgeKeep.com, log in, go to your tapestry, and then in the Origins section... There is a big square called the Battle of Denerim. I want you to choose that and select anything other than the hero of Ferelden dies or slays the Archdemon. So select Alasdair slays the Archdemon, select Loghain slays the Archdemon, either one. Once you get that, I want you to go ahead and export that world state, you know, save it and then export it out to uh, Dragon Age Inquisition. And when you come back in, you're going to want to create a new playthrough that takes on that world state. Once you get all the way through your playthrough to the point where you're out of Adamant Fortress, through the Fade, and back in Skyhold, you need to come up to the aviary and speak with Liliana. Now, there is another way you can configure this where you wind up being able to speak with Morrigan as well and have a similar conversation. But once again, I'm really honestly just showing you the way I set it up and the way I did it. I'm not going to go into every different fucking variation of how this can be configured in order to make it work. Feel free to play with it on your own. So, here's where we are. We're out of Adamant Fortress. We're back in Skyhold. We're going to talk to Leliana. When you first talk to Leliana, if you haven't spoken to her before, she's probably going to have a bit of conversation that you're going to have to skip through in order to get to this point. But eventually, she will want to have this conversation with you. The Templars will be an asset to this Inquisition. It's a shame we couldn't also get the mages on our side. The Divine's death hit you hard. How have you been feeling? Oh, you are referring to my outburst in the Haven. We're going to skip just a little just bit ahead here. A dear friend, and there were so many You're going to say, to tell me about it, and she's going to first mention the hero for Elden here. Sometimes it's best to talk these things out. I was with a hero, Ferelden, when she defeated the Archdemon. All right, now we're going to skip ahead. I was angry. I felt it. Now, enough of this. Tell her to carry on. And then we are going to have one more conversation with her. What adamant concerns me. The hero, Ferelden, and I have been together for years. I nearly lost her to the Archdemon. She's looking for a way to stop the calling from taking her as it does every Grey Warden. But if Corypheus has power over the Wardens, my love could be in danger. What would you like to do? I do not know where the hero of Ferelden is precisely, but I know how to get a message to her. She may have information that helps the Inquisition. At worst, it will do no harm. I will draw up a plan in the War Room. Thank you. 
I'll leave you to your work. All right, so now we have the contact hero of Ferelden operation. I don't know why we don't have the contact the hero of Ferelden operation, but alas, I digress. So we're going to head down to the war table, check out this operation, and then check out the rewards and go see what the schematic produces for us so you can see what it looks like. If you're actually looking for the item for the Griffin Mail that shows up in the game, not the schematic, the actual armor itself, I'll put a link in the video description that will show you where to go get the item to. Um, and in all told, this is about two hours worth of work, at least it was for me, in order to get from Haven out of the fade. So from Haven all the way through In Your Heart Shall Burns, coming to Skyhold, going through Adamant Fortress, going through the fade, and really I just rushed through everything. I set it on casual and just blew through it. So if this is the schematic you want, that's about the time investment you're probably looking at. So we'll be back in just a moment down in the war table. All right, so now we're at the war table. Here's the operation contact, the hero of Ferelden. You can see that Lelian is the only one that can participate in it, and it is a 19-hour and 12-minute mission, at least it is for me. So we'll go ahead and select that, and then we'll come back once this completes and check out the rewards. So we'll be back with that in just a moment. All right, so we have contacted the hero of Ferelden. There is the result, and you can see we received our Griffin mail schematic. So we'll be back to check that out in just a moment. All right, so here is the Griffin mail armor. This is what it looks like. Pretty good looking piece of armor there. There are the slots that it has on it. Uh, the utility slot is always nice because it gives you some attack bonuses. But uh, that's it for finding your Griffin mail schematic. Now, two things. One, if you're looking for the robe schematic or the plate schematic, check the video description. There's links down there to find them. Also, if you're actually looking for the Griffin mail armor that drops in the game or the Griffin plate armor or the Griffin robes armor that drops in the game, check the video description as well because there's links to how to find those too. So that's it for our uh, Griffin Mail Armor schematic. If you have any questions, please post them in the comment section below. If you got anything out of this video, if it was useful, please like the video, please subscribe, and as always, thanks for watching. Take care.